Hey, what's up? It's Taylor here. And in this video, I'm just looking at this story uh, where Blizzard sends a cease and desist to uh, Diablo 2 resurrected modders. And uh, this should actually say leakers instead of modders. But um, basically what's going on is, um, you know, someone who was in the alpha managed to leak uh, the technical alpha out. And uh, then uh, someone else created a mod where... Uh, you could unlock everything, like all the classes and all the acts, and like uh, make your character level 99. And um, so uh, this was creating like security issues for like malware, I guess, and stuff like that. So uh, Blizzard's really coming down on these um, on these uh, leakers. Uh, a part of this article says uh, one creator says Blizzard even went as far to send a private investigator to his home to serve the warning in person so uh they're really trying to send a strong message here um i mean that that's probably the only reason they would uh, uh do a cease and desist in person um to try and send that strong strong message and kind of intimidate uh any leakers i guess but um you know we we know diablo 2 supports modding mods have been around forever and uh, this article even goes on to say, We acknowledge that a big part of Diablo 2's longevity is the modding community, and we appreciate their enthusiasm for a game. That was a quote from a Blizzard rep to Kotaku. And uh, they also go on to say, Classic Diablo 2 and its mods will continue to exist, and we're going to do our best to continue to support mods for Diablo 2 Resurrected as well. So, um, like, they support mods, like we all know, but, uh, you know, they're, they're definitely going after leakers. So, uh, if you're a leaker, watch out. But yeah, that, that's it for this video, guys. Um, if you like Diablo 2 content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you on the next video.